I could show you the world A whole new world Oh say we're only dreaming Why are we still here? Just to suffer? You guys have voted, not for me to say, but for me to draw Aladdin, and I'm not talking about the 2019 version, I'm talking about the 1992 American animated musical fantasy film, The Classic, produced by Walt Disney Feature Animation, released by Walt Disney Pictures, Jasmine, Aladdin, uh, the genie, it's gonna be a lot of fun. More than my singing. <laughs> Throughout this video, I promise no more singing, but I will drop on you some Aladdin knowledge that you may or may not know, and I had a lot of dr fun drawing this in a Marvel style. Hopefully, you all enjoy. So Aladdin was produced and directed by Ron Clemens and John Musker, and the voice cast features Scott Weinger, Robin Williams, of course, Linda Larkin, Jonathan Freeman, Frank Welker, Gilbert Gottfried, and Douglas Seale, released in November 25th, 1992, to critical and commercial success becoming the highest grossing film of 1992. How old were you in 1992? Let me know in the comments down below. Or how many years before you were born? <laughs> 1992. I won't tell you how old I was back then. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> So like I mentioned at the beginning, Aladdin was voiced by Scott Weinger. Now, I remember Scott as DJ's boyfriend on Full House. You guys remember Full House? <laughs> and at that time, he was only 17 years old when he voiced Aladdin as a young adult in the film. Even though Scott Weinger and Linda Larkin are pretty decent singers, they did not sing for their respective characters. Brad Kane did Aladdin sing, while Philippines' own Leia Salonga did Jasmine sing. Now, in early visual development, they wanted Aladdin to resemble Michael J. Fox. But as the film developed, Jeffrey Katzenberg asked that Aladdin be beefed up to resemble Tom Cruise. Now, to capture the movement of Aladdin's low-cut baggy pants, animator Gil Keane looked at videos of rap star MC Hammer. <laughs> I loved Hammer. He's too legit to quit. Now here's a very interesting story point, according to me, anyway. <laughs> Originally, Aladdin was fully aware that Jasmine was the princess when he first met her. Now, it was changed because the production team thought that implied Aladdin fell in love with her because of her money and her power, and not because he genuinely cared about her, which is why they changed it so he didn't know she was the princess at first. Now, here's something interesting. Aladdin throws an apple to Jasmine several times throughout the movie including when they fly over Greece on the magic carpet ride. Now, this is important. Why? Because in ancient Greece, throwing an apple to a woman is considered a marriage proposal. And Jasmine's appearance was influenced by Jennifer Connelly, most likely from her appearance in the movie Labyrinth. Veteran actor Frank Welker voiced the Cave of Wonders, and he also reprised his role as the voice of the Cave of Wonders in the 2019 Aladdin live-action remake. And... He's the voice of Megatron. <laughs> Starscream! Ah. <laughs> I can't do voices. <laughs> the amazing, late, great comedian Robin Williams, of course, he did the voice of the genie, he did an amazing job. And during the course of recording the voices, Robin Williams improvised so much, they had almost 16 hours of material. And because Robin William ad-libbed so many of his lines, the script was rejected for Best Adapted Screenplay Academy Award nomination. Now, when it came to the villain Jafar, there were so many great actors that were considered for the role, including Tim Curry, Kelsey Grammer, John Hurt, and Christopher, Christopher Lloyd. Even Ian McClellan. Ian McClellan, we, we know him from... Uh, sorry, Ian McClellan, we know him from uh, Lord of the Rings. But we also know him as Magneto in X-Men. And we also know in X-Men, Professor X was Patrick Stewart, also known as uh, John Luke Picard, of course. But like uh, Ian McClellan, he also went for the role of Jafar and got it. He actually got the role of Jafar. However, scheduling conflicts with Star Trek The Next Generation movie forced Patrick Stewart to turn down the role. He said in interviews that this was his biggest regret. It was such a big regret, he campaigned to play Jafar in the 2019 live-action remake. But obviously, he didn't get the part. The part went to voice actor Jonathan Freeman. And also Jonathan Freeman, he also ended up playing the live-action version of Jafar in the Broadway musical.
Another character that was beloved, of course, is Iago. Now, Iago was originally intended to be voiced by Danny DeVito, but he was unavailable during production, so the role went to Gilbert Godfrey. And now, can you imagine anyone else but Gilbert Godfrey doing it? Well, he doesn't do it in the new movie, so I guess. <laughs> Aladdin earned over $504 million in the worldwide box office revenue. Upon release, it became the first animated feature to reach the half billion dollar mark and was the highest grossing animated film of all time until it was surpassed by The Lion King. So, kind of successful. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys noticed this, but in the uh, artwork, <laughs> I forgot to draw the genie's ponytail. Okay, so I actually went in and uh, drew it digitally. So added the digital ponytail. One good thing about digital, you can make a fix anytime you want. Okay, and it's not a big deal at all. Uh, but again, I drew this on a uh, Strathmore Bristol board, 11 by 17 Strathmore Bristol board, um, just with a regular pencil. Again, uh, this pencil here, a Sakura. Uh, 129 pencil that's what I usually draw with nowadays I stopped using the um, uh, I stopped using the colored pencils like I used to do like the blue and the red mainly because the store that I buy things at they don't carry them anymore so I'm actually forced to use a pencil which is probably better for you guys because you guys can probably see it a lot better whenever I color or whenever I draw with a pencil so maybe it's a good thing better for you guys you could see it and then of course inked it with uh, microns and um, a uh, permal pig marker let me show you that quickly a permal pig marker uh, courtesy of my friends at Sakura thank you guys and uh, yeah and then drew it uh, the actual drawing time probably took around three four hours to do the actual drawing mainly because there was a lot more um, a lot more characters than I usually did and um, and yeah and then the coloring maybe uh, three two to three hours so in total the artwork took maybe about uh, seven to eight hours in total to actually put together but a lot of fun to do and hopefully uh, you guys liked the finished product and uh, yeah a lot of fun so there you go that was some fun facts about Aladdin let me know what you thought about those facts and if you have some interesting facts about the movie Aladdin yourself why don't you let me know let me know in the comments down below if you're new here please do subscribe but I know while you are still here why you are still here you want to see the full color version of my Aladdin in a Marvel style so here it is coming right at you So there it is, hopefully you enjoy it. Now I'm trying my best to actually get my content out a little bit more regularly, and I'm gonna try something new. My videos will now drop around noon, lunchtime uh, on the Eastern side, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern uh, every single day uh, on the weekdays. Okay, so weekdays at 12 p.m., that's what I'm aiming for, I'm preparing for that. I don't know if this actually got out at 12 <laughs> p.m. Uh, Eastern time, but maybe you let me know <laughs> if this works for you or not. But I wanna have regular daily content, at least the weekday, daily content for all of you guys and I'm preparing for that because especially, you know, a lot of us are at home uh, trying to social distance still and still trying to take our mind off of what's going on right now and hopefully I can provide the daily entertainment for all of you. Thank you guys for your support, for watching my videos, for sharing. It means more to me than you'll ever know. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. My name is James. I am the box office artist. I'm here to say keep drawing. I'll see you all next time.